Hi everyone, my name is Fang Hua. I'm from UCL. Today, I'm going to talk about Snow Safe Alternative Dialogue State Tracking. This is a joint work with Jarana, Chiang, Senghui, and Emily. My talk includes the following parts. Let's first go to the introduction. Nowadays, we have seen many dialogue system products, such as, such as Apple Siri, Alexa, Microsoft Shell Eyes, and Cortana. These systems can work as personal assistants and help us accomplish many tasks. The typical framework of task-oriented dialogue systems has four components, including natural language understanding, dialogue style tracking, policy learning, and natural language generation. From this framework, we can say that the dialogue state tracking component is pretty important because its output will influence the subsequent two components. So what does dialogue state tracking do? Dialogue state tracking aims to keep track of users' intentions at each dialogue turn. Let's take this dialogue as an example. At the first turn, when the user says, please find me a Chinese restaurant, the system should be able to find out relevant information with respect to the food type. In this case, it is Chinese. Then we can, we can track the state as restaurant food equals Chinese. Here, restaurant food is the predefined slot, and the food is a value that needs to be extracted from the data context. Suppose that we have a dialogue of T turns and we have a J predefined the slots. Then we can define the dialogue state at turn T as BT, which is a set of slot value pairs. Here, VJT denotes the value of slot SJ and VJ denotes the value space of SJ. Based on the slots and their corresponding value spaces, we construct an ontology O. Then the task of dialogue state tracking can be formally defined as learning a dialogue state tracker F that takes the dialogue context X and the ontology O as input and outputs the dialogue state B. So far, many dialogue state tracking methods have been proposed. However, most of them don't consider those not correlations. This can be problematic. As we know, co-reference is a common phenomenon in natural conversations. Besides, some not values may have a high co-occurrence probability. Let's look at this dialogue again. At the third time, when the user says, I also need a taxi to get me to the restaurant on time, the user doesn't provide the information of the taxi destination and the taxi time explicitly. Instead, the system should deduce the values from other nodes. In this case, taxi destination should be the same as restaurant name. Also, taxi arrival time should be the same as restaurant book time. To better show the correlations among nodes, we conduct a simple data analysis on multi was 21, which is a, public, a publicly available dialogue data set. Specifically, we adopt the normalized mutual information as a metric to measure the correlations among nodes. From this figure, we can see that a node indeed can relate to some other nodes. The relevant slots may, may come from the same domain or come from different domains. Interestingly, we also found that even though some slots may not have apparent collections, they are actually highly correlated with each other, such as the slot taxi destination and the slot based on the food. In this sense, we need to develop a good strategy that can capture the correlations among nodes 
accurately. For this purpose, we propose a new model called the STAR, which is short for Slot Safe Alternative Dialogue Cell Tracking. STAR aims at automatically learning the slot correlations via slot safe attention. It has four modules. The first one is dialogue context encoder, which encodes the dialogue context into, con into contextualized vector representations. The second one is slot token attention, which extracts slot specific information for each slot. The third one is the slot safe attention, which learns the correlations among slots. The last one is a slot value matching, which try to predict the value of which slot. Here is a more detailed illustration of the model architecture. Specifically, we adopt the pre trained language model BERT as the dialogue context encoder. We also use a larger BERT to encode the slots and the values. But this part is fixed, so we can compute the slot vectors and the value vectors of a line. Then we use the slot, slot token attention to calculate a slot specific, slot specific vector for each slot. After that, we employ a stacked slot safe attention to learn the correlations among slots automatically. There are L slot safe attention layers in total. Finally, we compute the similarity between the slot vector and all the candidate value vectors and choose the most similar one as the prediction for the slot. Now let's go to the experiments. We conduct the experiments on multi was 2.0 and 2.1. MultiWars 2.1 is a refined version of MultiWars 2.0. There are many annotation errors in MultiWars 2.0. This data set has five domains and there are 30 slots in total. We compare our method star against 12 baselines. What the children baselines are from year 2020. We adopt the joint goal accuracy as the evaluation metric. The joint goal accuracy is defined as the ratio of dynamic turns for which the value of each slot is correctly predicted. The results are shown in this table, from which we can see that our approach outperforms all the baselines in both data sets. We also summarize some key characteristics of these methods in this table. Although some methods try to leverage some extra information to enhance their performance, they are still inferior to our approach. Our approach also shows better performance than the baselines that have taken a lot of correlations into consideration. Given that a dialogue may contain just a single domain, or involve multiple domains. We divide the test set into single domain dialogues and multi domain dialogues, and then analyze the problems in each scenario. In a single domain scenario, we can see that all the methods demonstrate much higher performance. But in a multi domain scenario, the performance is slightly lower because multi domain dialogues. Are much harder. Even so, our method star still achieves around 55% joint goal accuracy. As mentioned earlier, there are five domains in the data set, so we further report the domain specific performance. From this table, we can see that our approach star consistently outperforms CSF and SOM over all the domains. It also outperforms TripPy in three domains. Although TripPy shows better performance in two domains, it fails dramatically in the text domain. The text domain is the most challenging one as analyzed by previous works. We also 
report those not specific accuracy. From this chart, we can see that our approach star outperforms trip by in both slots, especially in the slot taxi departure and the slot taxi destination. This analysis explains in more detail why trip by fails in the taxi domain. Considering that a dialogue has multiple terms, it is valuable to, in, to investigate the problems with respect to dialogue terms. So we further report the performance of TripPy and the star at each term. We can say that the performance of TripPy and the star decreases when the number of dialogue terms increases. This is because the errors occurred at early turns will be accumulated to later turns. For comparison, we also show the problems of star GT. Star GT takes the ground truth previous dialogue state as the input. We can say that the problems of star GT is pretty stable because there are no error accumulations. Finally, we conduct a couple of sensitivity analysis. At first, we study the effects of the number of not safe engineers. When we set the number of layers to six, our model demonstrates the best performance. When L equals zero, the performance drops down to 54%. Note that when L equals zero, there is no not safe attention anymore. So we can conclude that it is essential to take the snort correlations into consideration. And our proposed snort safe attention mechanism has the ability to under the snort correlations effectively. Then we study the effects of the number of, the number of previous dialogue terms. The results show that our model achieves the best performance when full history is never reached. To summarize, in this work, we have proposed a snort safe attention mechanism to honor the snort dependencies. We conduct extensive experiments to evaluate the proposed model. It is worth mentioning that the snort safe attention mechanism can be incorporated into other advanced DSD approaches quite readily. It is also vulnerable to extend our approach to make it applicable in the open vocabulary setting. That's all about my talk. Thanks for listening.